It's time to make it Just give it a try Cause you can make it Like the old fat guy Welcome to this episode of You Can Make It with David Farrell, the old fat guy. That's me. Today we have a guest chef on. A good buddy of mine who you already know, but you just don't recognize his face. Bill Brewer. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you'll note that that wonderful music on the videos, that's Bill singing, playing, and composing all of them. And he also does a lot of the voiceovers at the end. But today he's going to show us his recipe on how to make chicken drumsticks. Sounds good. So if David is the old fat guy, does that make me the young thin guy? I don't know, but today we're going to make a dish called Passing Wind Estates Chicken Legs. It's named after David's place, which is in a country setting outside the city, named after the gentle mountain breezes that flow in the evening. Absolutely. So Passing Wind Estates Chicken Legs. I've actually hesitated to show you this recipe for a couple of reasons. One of them is the recipe is so crazy simple. There's literally two ingredients plus chicken legs. So I was kind of worried about that. But then there's another thing too. And that is that if you've watched David's program, you know that his measurements can be quite precise. But I tend to just put the ingredients in in a ratio. So I'm not exactly sure. So I thought about it earlier. And we have five chicken legs here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to have about a third of a cup of sauce composed of dark soy sauce and also red hot sauce. So let's get started. We've got some baking spray here. I like to do things the lazy way. You thought David was lazy, which he isn't, by the way. You thought David was lazy. This is the really lazy way to oil the chicken legs, which we're going to place on the barbecue. So there we go. Done with the oil. Two ingredients, dark soy sauce, red hot sauce. I like a ratio of about 50-50, half and half. And a total, oh, David, would you help me with that? We should have rehearsed this because <laughs> this is coming up very slowly. Okay, whoops. And then an equal amount, red hot sauce. Then I'm going to stir it up and that Literally, just the two ingredients. You can see why I kind of hesitated about making this because I'm thinking, is this even a recipe? This re this re sorry, David. This recipe is actually based on necessity. I was at home. I had very few ingredients. I had chicken legs, and I had these two items in the fridge. And I thought, hmm, chicken legs. And just to help you all out, I say Bill put in about 25 milliliters each, 25 milliliters of dark soy sauce, and 25 milliliters of uh, hot wing sauce. That's about right. So I've mixed the two ingredients together and our next move is to put the chicken legs on the barbecue. We're going to, uh, have, we're going to have sear them for a bit and then turn them and then start using the sauce. So the next thing you'll see is us outside at the barbecue. And it's wonderful time to be outside right now, so let's get out there. So here we are at our barbecue grill, which we preheated to medium. Let's get these chicken legs going. Now I'm putting them on first without brushing them with any sauce. We're going to get these going for about five minutes or so, and then brush with sauce after turning so that the first surface will have a bit of char on it. It's been five minutes, so we're going to give the chicken legs their first turn, and we're going to apply the sauce to the charred surface. Oh, looking good. A little overcharged. Maybe we'll reduce the temperature a bit. So here's our first brushing of sauce. Look at that color. This is one of the reasons why I'm using the dark soy is to get that amazing color as I'm brushing the sauce on, but I also like the taste of it. So there we go, our first brushing of sauce. We're going to give this side five minutes, 
Turn that, more sauce. See you then. It's been five minutes since we gave the chicken legs their first turn. Time to turn again. Ah, beautiful color. And this will be the first time this side's got the sauce. If you run a little bit short on the sauce, remember that with only two ingredients, you can always just make more. What we've done here is we've kind of estimated how much we're going to need. Hopefully our estimate's a good one. So we're going to give this another five minutes, turn it again, and then the plan after that is five minutes, turn, brush with the sauce until the sauce runs out. I estimate somewhere around 25 to 30 minutes total to cook all the chicken legs. Let's see. Another five minutes, another turn, another brushing. Wow, look at that color, just beautiful. We're getting a little low on the sauce now, but that's good. As long as you've got a brushing for each side, I would say at least once or twice. Looks like we're going to get at least twice out of this. Then that's just fine. Another five minutes, another turn, another brushing. You get the idea. A final turn then. And a final brushing. This should use up the sauce. I think we're close to done here. So what we're going to do is test doneness with a thermometer soon. Minimum, I would say, is 160, but David and I probably prefer about 170. So there we go. The sauce is used up. I'm going to give this a couple of minutes, turn it again so that the uh, wet surface gets its final charring, and then we're probably done. We'll test for doneness with a thermometer. A final turn now. Give the wet surface a few minutes, then we're going to test with a thermometer for doneness with our goal about 170 or so. See you then. It's been between 25 and 30 minutes total. I think the chicken legs are probably done. Let's have a look. Yes, between 160 and 170, closer to 170. Good, we're done. Got a clean plate here, of course, to avoid cross-contamination. Looks terrific. What a nice dark color from the soy. Let's take these inside and we'll have a taste. Now that we've seen Bill the Master Chef at work, we're back inside. One thing I will point out about Bill that does bother me a little bit is he called these chicken legs. Most of us call them drumsticks, but you know, Bill, he's a little different. They look absolutely... Well, I suppose it's not the whole leg, it's just part of it, right? <laughs> Isn't there's no foot on this. <laughs> Time for a taste test. There we go. I got the piece with extra char for you. <laughs> All right. Terrific. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wonderful. It's really good. It's got the vinegary flavor from the hot wing sauce. It's got a nice salty hit from the soy sauce. Chicken drumsticks have a lot of fat. So the soy sauce and the hot sauce just make that fat kind of cut a little bit so it doesn't feel greasy in your mouth. I'd say they're absolutely delicious, Bill. Yes, and uh, can I say the catchphrase? What catchphrase? <laughs> the catchphrase is, and you can make it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I have a good woman. I ain't good looking. But I do some cooking. I'm the old fat guy. So use that oven if you want some loving. Be like the old fat guy. Like the old fat girl.